So let me this the chatbot now. Let me here uh, say, for example, random things. Let me say, where are you? And let me send, and here it says um, on the internet. So as you can see, it's smart, and it uh, responds with with something that is related to what I to the question that I asked. Let me say, what uh, do you like food? Do you like food? Let me send. And here it says I'm a software program. I blame the hardware. So I also want you to to uh, I, I want you to point out to two things, two very important things. First is that you need to train the chatbot many times so that it it um, it kind of so that it kind of gets uh, it kind of learns quickly. So you need to uh, train it many many times. So that it gets smarter and smarter. Another important thing is that, in case you are using the corpus here, it's it's better to remove the default here. It's better to remove the default answer because the the corpus itself has its default uh, default uh, default response. And if it doesn't find a response, it will find a way to respond to the user. So you don't have to have here a default response. It's recommended. It's even recommended to remove it because you want to keep the conversation uh, going with the chatbot and the user, and you don't want to interrupt the conversation by using a default response. If, if for some reason, if it doesn't find a response that has 90% or more of accuracy or similarity, then it's gonna find just a way to respond to the user. So I'm gonna remove it, and then I'm gonna restart here. I'm gonna retrain the. Let me here. Let me here retrain the chat bot one more time. And let's test one more time. So here, here as I told you, it's important to train it many times. So here it's being trained again and again here. And uh, let's say, let's see what's gonna happen after it gets trained. So after it has been trained, let me test now, let me refresh, uh, let's see what's going to happen. So let me here say, where are you? And then I'm going to send, and here it says, it should respond. Here it says, I'm on the internet. Do you like uh, food? And let me send, and here it says, it says I'm a software program, I blame the hardware. Um, let's say, do you, uh, what's your name? Let's say, what's your name? And here it should respond. It says here, I'm a chat bot. Uh, do you like, uh, sports? Let me send and see what's going to happen. So it says here, the response is, 
uh, you are uh, resistant. So it's going to keep uh, the conver conversation going with, between you and uh, uh, the chatbot. It's going to keep the conversation going, going between the user and the chatbot. And uh, I recommend playing around with this because it's going to take time. You need to uh, try it and you need also to train it many times because it's going to get smarter as you train it many times and as you as it gets trained many many times it's going to get smarter and smarter and this is how it works